Yes, welcome to Tutorial Race. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can convert your PhD file or Photoshop file or JPG file to WordPress. So I'll show you this step by step. So just stay connected and watch the video. So I have on this file. So this is the PhD file and this is our JPG file and I have converted this into HTML. So this is my jpg file this is my design okay so first i have converted it into html so this is my html file you can view the source so i converted this okay so i will show you that how we can convert this static HTML file into WordPress. So first, let's open this WordPress and then let's go to appearance and then theme. So we already have few themes installed. What we will do, we will just duplicate any one of the themes. So let me go to HC docs and then WordPress. This is my WordPress files and then WP content and themes. And then there are these themes. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this uh, 2017 theme and just paste here now let me just rename it to stand font now let's go inside and first just edit style.css And then you can see inside the comment there are few information so simply just add this theme name standpoint theme URI currently we don't require this author Team, or you can give your own name, say, and then author URI. I'll also remove this description. Stand theme and then version 0 
let's continue and you can leave all these things as it is and also we don't need that much information so simply you can delete few of them also now okay now let's go to admin and refresh the page and you can see here standpoint theme okay the name standpoint has come also whatever we have written in our css file here in the top in the comment section it is appearing appearing here standpoint by umar rahman and standpoint theme now let's activate it i've just activated and let's see in the front section there will be no difference because we have not made any modification so far so now the next step is go to index okay the next step is just copy images folder and from your html file this one copy images folder and just paste inside here inside the theme similarly copy this css file just paste into your theme folder okay and the next step is just open index.php and then okay and uh, before that just keep a uh, one copy of index.php later we will remove this so now let's do one thing control a and delete everything this method I'm, uh, which i'm showing is one of the easiest and quickest method through which you can develop theme modify theme now just open this in sublime text or any other editor and then control a and control c that means copy the whole document and then <coughs> paste here okay now let's try to open this and see that how does it look like okay have i activated the thing yeah okay so it's not showing here because we had set here in settings and then reading the page section so let's make it your last post then index.php will work okay so this is your theme and as you can see it's broken because css is not detecting so uh, uh next step will be then right here php get template a template direct tree URI okay so what does it do actually it fetches the path from root domain to up to the theme name okay so if you want to see actually what does it display then you can see here simply just pasting somewhere okay now let's just document it let's see, see a tester front section and see how does it look like did i really save it okay i need to write here echo 
change so okay so this theme is started to look as expected and as i told you that this gate template directory uri this gate template directory uri actually fetches the path up to the theme name so it is displaying here http localhost wordpress wp content themes and then theme name so that you don't have to write this manually it makes the task easy now one more thing we have to uh, include here actually so just to remove this title and right here php wp head so what i just do it fetches the default css as well as the title so let's see Yeah, the title has changed as you can see. But if you don't do this, if you don't do this, then it will show you the static, the static uh, title, which is not good. So just WP head function just right here. Remember, it must be written before closing the head. Before closing the head. You should write this function okay and more thing the image is not displaying here the image is not displaying so if you want to show image then before every image just just you write this code and it will start displaying for example if you want to display logo then just put before it logo has come and one more thing you can see there is a top gap it's because you, we are logged in as admin that's why if we will log out then it will not display there so that's not the problem actually okay so let me log in again. Let me log in again here. So similarly, I will write this function before every image. Okay, so probably all the images has been replaced. Yes, it's working as expected. So at least now you can see that the design is showing inside WordPress. Though still the functionality is not working, but at least you can see the design has worked now inside this. Also, since we don't need the default CSS here, uh, this style sheet, style.css, this one. So you can also do one thing, simply remove the whole code from here to here so as you can see now this button is 
looking perfectly because somewhere it, it was conflicting that's why okay so guys in the next video i will show you uh, we will work on the functionalities of uh, this the top menu and also search and all these things so stay connected and see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye